As the Industrial Revolution transformed Europe and cities swelled, the connection between man and nature was being lost. The traditions and social fabric, as well as the familiar political order, were rapidly changing. In Northern Europe, writers like Friedrich Nietzsche and August Strindberg were exploring issues of man's spiritual development. In art, artists began to leave representation and move past perception to explore more complex psychological states. Influenced by Monk, Ensor, and Van Gogh, this new emphasis on emotional expression developed primarily in Germany. In Dresden in 1905, a group known as Die Brück was formed. As the name implies, they wanted to form a bridge between the past and present by finding new modes of expression. They challenged traditional art-making forms and found their inspiration in primitive and folk art. Their work expressed extreme emotion through the use of crude drawing and discordant colors. A few years later in Munich, a group of artists rallied around the rejection of a Vasily Kandinsky expressionistic painting from an exhibition. They called themselves the Blue Rider, or Blue Rider Group. Like their colleagues in Dresden, they were looking for new methods to address spiritual truths. Kandinsky believed that spirituality could be expressed through color, and in 1911 published on the spiritual and art. This group, influenced by the developments in French painting of the same time, embraced a move towards abstraction. Kandinsky is credited with creating the first fully abstract painting. His development of abstraction would have far-reaching influence. These artists saw themselves as an avant-garde movement, not only in art, but in social institutions as well. The Dresden group had moved into a working-class neighborhood, rejecting their well-to-do backgrounds. Their bohemian lifestyle challenged the mores of polite German society. Kirchner wrote that they were a generation that wanted freedom in our work and in our lives, independence from older established forces. The ideas around expressionism overlap with many other revolutionary styles that were emerging in Europe around the same time. It would have a great effect on the development not only of art, but literature, music, and film. The two groups, Die Bruch and Der Blau Reiter, were disrupted by the events of World War I and disbanded. Although many expressionists were condemned as degenerate artists by the Nazis in 1937, their emphasis on emotional expression would spread across nearly all aspects of 20th century art. <laughs>